All right, welcome back, YouTube, to another episode of Call of Duty World War II Veteran Walkthrough Mission Number Five. So, once again, if you are new, I just want to clarify that these are the things that I use to pass the mission on Veteran Mode, and I'm just throwing it on YouTube to see if you know maybe any of this is, is of any good use for you guys. But without further ado, let's get started. All right, so the first thing we have to do is talk to this gentleman. Uh, he is going to tell us, you know, what are we here for. And there are simply two buttons we got to press. So we are going to actually press the one that says the travel document. And that should really be it. Uh, the first, I want to say, couple minutes are just going to be us, you know, walking around. Just in case if you don't know where to go. But if you do know where to go, then by all means, just skip ahead to where we have to plant the bombs. And then uh, these these things that I'm going to do right now, I don't know if this is what you are required to do. This is just I'm doing just because uh, this is what I remember doing when I first did the walkthrough. So I did them, you know, a lot quicker. But this is what I did, of course. And the first thing we're going to do is we are going to actually, you, you, you can actually go through there uh, uh, behind the stairs, what I was trying to kind of look at right there. But I just thought maybe, you know, this, this was split up. So... We are going to go talk to this guy right here, and we are going to ask him to see if he is uh, the Fisher guy. You know, kind of weird, but, you know, the Fisher. And then he's going to tell us no, but that he might have seen him downstairs playing some cards. So what we are going to do now is we are basically going to go back down, uh, you know, down to the basement to see if he's there. And little do you know, he's not going to be there. So, again, I will try to stay quiet most of this just unless there is something that's really you know throwing out there then most likely i will but i uh, hear this gentleman is going to close the door and you just gotta you know pick lock it it's which is just by holding the button that it displays and same thing so for all the guys you're just gonna have to press you know ask them if they're fisher and then they're gonna tell you not and after that just leave and then just follow exactly what i do and i will get back to you to the person that actually stops us and I'll tell you which button to press from there. Man sagte mir, Oberst Fischer würde hier unten im Keller Karten spielen. Haben Sie ihn gesehen? Der Oberst ist gerade gegangen, um ein Treffen vorzubereiten. Er dürfte im ersten Stock sein. Danke für Ihre Hilfe. War mir ein Vergnügen. Alright, so here's a gentleman that's going to stop us. Basically, we're going to turn in our papers. And he's going to, you know, tell us who are we here to see. So we are going to choose the uh, left uh, conversation dialogue, which is uh, Heinrich, I guess you can say. Press that button. And then he should let us go in no problem. And that should be it for this little section. All right, so now this is the gentleman that we are looking for. This is Fisher. Once again, we are going to ask him to see if he's Fisher, and then he's, he's going to say yes. And then after that, we are going to say the uh, code phrase, and then, you know, little do you know, he is it. And then this is what's, uh, where he's going to take you to uh, where it's a cutscene, basically, and we will be right back after the cutscene, of course. At this point, we're continuing going up to the third floor. Uh, they're going to... We're going to have to go meet him, and then that's when some stuff is going to happen. Again, I'm just going to show you where to go, and we'll be back. Guten Abend. Kann ich Ihnen behilflich sein, Fräulein? Ja, ich habe Reisedokumente für Herrn Heinrich. Ist er da? Nein, er ist momentan in einer wichtigen Besprechung. Sie können gerne in seinem Büro warten. Er kommt gleich zurück.
All right, so now that we're inside uh, his room, basically, I think the way to activate this uh, cutscene is by opening the window, and then that's when he comes in, and then, you know, some sort of cutscene is going to happen, so obviously I'm skipping through all that. This is the part where he uh, attacks Rousseau, so this is where you got to, again, use your left thumbstick to move to the circle and press the button. And then, again, this is just a little cutscene showing you. Uh, you don't have to press anything after this. But after you are done basically eliminating him, you have to go open the window and escape through that way. Make your way to the war room. And then from there, I will show you what button to press when they stop us once again. Wünschten Berichte aus Berlin sind gerade gekommen. Danke. Ich werde sie mir schnellstmöglich anhören. In Ordnung. Nach dem Spion! Was hat das zu bedeuten? Es sind sprengstoffhafte Munitionslager. Sie wurden zuletzt in der Nähe gesehen. All right, so now here's the guy that stops us once again. And to be honest, uh, so yeah, you can show him your papers and then he's, another dialogue thing is going to pop out again. But I do believe that you don't, uh, it doesn't really matter what you press. At least what I pressed was uh, the one that they already checked it. And he gets a little mad, but then obviously Crowley's in the back, so that takes care of that. And that should be it for, you know, at least this little section right here where we just got to walk around. Now this is where the fun begins, and then in case if you don't know, there is an achievement slash trophy for this mission, which is to plant both of the bombs without you know having to fight. So basically just go stealthy, and th that's exactly what we do, okay? Um, for this one, actually, I got really lucky, to be honest. I didn't really know where I was going, but I managed to do it regardless, so just follow exactly as I do. Uh, there is like a little edge right there at the corner ignore those guys and then we are gonna actually continue following that so don't fall down if you do happen to fall down make sure you uh, reload the checkpoint there is one guy there take him out and then open the window and right to your left or actually not so uh right here as soon as you uh, exit this door to your left there is going to be a guy again right there just shoot him in the head just one shot should do and then we are going to go downstairs. And then there's going to be two guys, but do not shoot them, okay? Uh, the only reason why I did not shoot him was because uh, actually Rousseau was the one that told me not to. So, like I said, um, in my previous uh, videos, the uh, the subtitles actually help. So, this is option, okay? This, this has nothing to do, but I just wanted to help him. That's the uh, officer that was helping us. So, I, you know, I kind of wanted to have his back. So, I don't really think this counts as a heroic action he might just be there for help but we're gonna do the stealthy anyway so it's not even gonna really matter but <clears throat> ignore all this and we're just gonna go downstairs and this is actually where the uh so right there i was checking to see if it counted which i already knew where the heroic things were at i just wanted to know but we're not gonna go that way. we're actually gonna go down this way take a right and then I believe there might be a guy there. So, yeah, there's a guy there again. You know, you just got to be a little careful with that. Plant the bomb. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure you should know this, but just have the pistol out with the, with the suppressor. Just a heads up, just in case. We are going to pick lock at this door right here. Uh, I don't think you need anything crazy, you know, just to pick lock. I think you just go up to them. There is this guy. Make sure you uh, reload, okay? Because, like, the first time I did it, I... 
ran out of bullets so i was like okay there's this guy down here too by this door there is a health pack right there so make sure you pick it up we're not really going to use him with rousseau at least anyways once we exit the building we are going to take a right and there is like a little ramp right there where we can get in t on top of the balcony again uh just don't shoot at all uh there is there will be a guy up up here in the balcony so make sure you take him out just to clarify something, I don't know if the spotlights right there on top of us can see us. You know, especially when we're on the next section. But, you know, just uh, as long as you have the checkpoint, you should be good. Uh, right here, there's going to be two gentlemen walking down. Ignore them, okay? Do not kill them at all. Just wait for them to kind of go in there. They're going to go inside some door, and then they're, they're just going to disappear. As you, you will be able to tell in just a little bit. Um... Then after that, we are going to go back on top of that ramp once again and on top of the balcony. So this is a little thing I was telling you where they just randomly disappeared out of nowhere. Again, there shouldn't be anyone up here in this balcony yet. And just jump over to the other little side on the balcony, jump on the box. And then right here, there will be a guy right there. So just careful. And then also careful with the uh, spotlight because it's kind of around the corner. Like I said, I don't know if it can find you or not. Just go down through that door. And as you can see, there is a guy there. So just try to kill him before his meter uh, picks up. Uh, I don't know what this pick lock right here is for. I opened it because I thought maybe this is where we had to go. But in reality, there was nothing there. So maybe I'm thinking that there might be like a, a memento in there or not. So I don't know. But we're going to go down here and there there should be a guy to the right he's not looking at you so that's at least a good thing hopefully on yours he's not looking either take him down with the headshot and right here i'm making sure on the other side that there's no one there by any chance and then this is where we plant the bomb and if you did it correctly without you know having anyone alerted you should get the achievement slash trophy right there and now we get to the other fun part with daniels and pearson so let's get started all right so now this is where they explode the bombs and then this is where these soldiers are like okay what's going on so you, you have the surprise on them basically just shoot them down and a little tip for this is just you know go from cover to cover okay uh, don't just stay in one spot obviously you're going to take them out and then you have to push forward but then at this point there should be a couple shooting it on top of the hotel they're not even looking at you so make sure you take them down as soon as you take them down you know continue pressing forward but, you know, when you move forward, don't go, like, crazy, crazy forward, okay? Try to at least go from car to car or from, you know, like, cover to cover, with whatever's there. Again, if you pop out for too long, they will eventually start shooting at you. Try to also see where they're, uh, where you can see their, like, uh, what, what's it called? The muzzle flash, I guess it's what it's called. Try to spot where that is. Uh, again, uh, throw some grenades if you do have some. You should have some at this point. And, you know, try to see where there's a couple of them and then throw it right there. Like right there. I saw they were there. So hopefully I was going for a, a car to explode or something. But uh, continue just going like that. Again, um, I didn't really find any health packs around. I thought maybe this like little bench right here was going to have any or have some. But it did not actually have any. So at this part, you should be good. But it's until you're over here. Careful with this car. I don't know if this is planned out or not. But... It exploded i don't really know if it did any damage to me and this part is the one that actually uh so you get the checkpoint but this part right here was the one that actually took away a lot of health for me i think it was maybe the uh, mg car that was right there but luckily my teammates took him out and then i had no problem after that but yeah this part gets a little tricky because uh, you do have to press a little forward because as you can see there they are back and we don't really have any uh optics i guess for us to use and then right here i'm asking for some uh ammo and then just careful there I, like right there that's something you should not do but i did it anyway because i'm a moron but it, it worked out for me so that was at least good just uh, stay behind this car M make sure it's exploded first of all before you actually go there and then just pick off whatever you see a lot of them are just going to be taking cover again the bar is a good weapon but it does recoil somewhat so just adds up on that Alright, so eventually you are going to see your allies push up a little, but don't push up yourself, okay? Stay back, because then this is where the first out of the second heroic actions pops out. Again, just throw a smoke, and then just make sure you drag him all the way back. Nothing too hard. I, I know it's on veterans, so that, that's why we're, we're using smokes, but it's not too bad. Uh, there's a health pack there in case if you do need it. 
And then at this point, I'm just going to kind of let it play out because, you know, it's just enemies, you know, just taking cover. And I can't really say exactly where they're going to add. I'm just going to, I'm just telling you just to, uh, you know, make sure you use your allies wisely or, you know, your your platoon, you know, they're, use their special ability, should I say. Um, they are going to be kind of like sniping you. There's no snipers, but just kind of be aware of where they're shooting at. Um, I would recommend that once you get the uh, checkpoint, always check for the checkpoint. And as soon as you get a checkpoint, just kind of, you know, go balls out a little and just kind of, you know, see where they're shooting you from so that you can know where they're at. Because obviously on where they're shooting from me, they're not going to be shooting you in the same exact spot. You know what I mean? I'm going to let it play out and try using, um, what's his name? Pearson's ability, uh, as you can, oh, as you can tell. But for me, Pearson was glitched out, okay? His ability should really help out here. But for some reason, he was like under a bridge somehow for me. So that didn't work out. But yeah, I would leave it at to that point. Alright, so right here I would recommend you to start actually pushing more to the right because there is a bunch of cover there. And then as soon as you kind of push him a little uh, forward, there is going to be a half track that's going to come in. And you want to take down the guy with the R uh, on the MG. Um, you want to push up forward again a little. Uh, they threw a smoke grenade for me. I don't know if they're going to throw one for you. But do not try this out, okay? Do not pick up the, uh, the bazooka gun because it's going to do nothing to that half track okay so don't even bother don't even bother getting on the uh, machine gun as well uh pick up the uh, sniper if you are confident in your shot all right so then at this point you know uh do not do what i do right there i kind of risked it uh basically there doesn't be like two machine guns shooting at you okay so it's like don't even bother doing that just kind of pick up the sniper throw a grenade just uh, clear some space you can also throw a smoke grenade just in case if you are injured and you want to kind of head back okay uh Look at the top part right there on top where the uh, MG is shooting you from. There should be an MG uh, shooting at you. And then just kind of, you know, lean in a little from cover. And then just kind of, you know, take him down. There is a guy with the Panzer there as well. So take him out because, believe it or not, Panzer will take you out in just one hit. Even if it doesn't hit you directly. And then I believe your uh, teammate should take down the guy on the half track. And then at this point, just kind of, uh, you know, just... It, it, it doesn't matter about the gun. Don't bother about the guns because you're going to lose them right now anyways. But just kind of scout for some uh, health packs. And then just continue going over there where the marker is at. This is me just searching for some more health packs like I mentioned. And then this this is... We're almost done with this part. So so yeah, basically at this point uh, we're almost there. Just stick to it just a little longer. And then uh, this is when we're going to meet up with Rosu. Or Russo, sorry, and uh, Crowley. Remember, make sure to take advantage of your uh, platoon's abilities. And then this is when they're just talking, just in case if you don't know what to do, you're just gonna follow uh, this guy right here. And then they're actually gonna give you a shotgun. So <laughs> it's a little intense right now, but nothing too hard. Again, they won't be able to see you because Russo is gonna throw a sh uh, smoke grenade in there. And so you actually have the element of surprise on them. And then that's when you walk up to Crowley. He gives you the shotgun. And then this is where all ham goes on. So as soon as they open the doors, just kind of go in there. You, you will be able to see their shadow. Kind of, uh, It's kind of weird, but trust me, you will be able to see them. Uh, do not push forward or anything like that. Uh, just make sure you try to take down as much as you can. Don't shoot at any anyone if they're on top i don't know if there is anyone on top but just make sure that you take down the ones that are down here there should be one kind of hiding behind cover right here uh he killed me before so i i knew he was there that's why but uh they should actually tell you that it's clear okay now that's when you move up don't don't push up until they tell you then Susman is going to open this door. There should be about three enemies here, but you can take them down. And then as soon as you uh, turn the corner right there, that is where the second heroic uh, action is, okay? And if you've if you've been following it so far, I believe you should get an achievement slash trophy right here, okay? Not the one for all of the uh, heroic actions, but one for like making, I think, like four groups. Uh, 
for making them basically uh you know what to call surrender so you should be good here i'm just looking out for some more uh health packs i didn't really find one only one though which is right here on this desk but you know if you play it out right you shouldn't really even have to use some of these um i would honestly recommend picking up the uh, molotovs at this point because they are actually very helpful uh when i tried them out in uh just just regular mode they weren't very helpful but right here in veteran they actually are very helpful so make sure you pick them up right there i do not pick them up at first because i was like okay they're probably stupid but you will see how useful they are um right here they're telling me that they're coming do not get on the m19 uh unless you're not too confident with the sniper then just get on top of it but i would recommend just staying just on the sniper uh believe me i'm not the greatest sniper ever either um but it really does help a lot again if you hold either it's like the left thumbstick or the right thumbstick it'll make basically slow down time so you should hopefully get some good targets off of that but uh and yeah just kind of stick to what i do and follow as i do and we will do a-okay all right so now in these parts just try to stick to the uh, middle bridge um basically <clears throat> i don't think the soldiers that you're killing really matter i'm just trying to shoot you know just so that they don't get close to me but the ones that really, really do matter are the ones that Sussman's gonna tell you. Um, basically, just I'm just like I mentioned, pick, uh, stay on the middle bridge until now, and just pick off anything you can. And for example, that's where he tells me that the flamethrower is there. So obviously, you want to get close to him. Um, first, I can't find him, and then uh, this this is where he tells me that they're snipers. Okay, um, basically, they're right across from you in that building right there. There should be about I believe two of them by some windows. The windows are lighted up so you should have no problem with them and then you can also see like their flash okay and then this is where uh, they tell me to you know use the uh, molotovs because they are close just use them right there uh, you do have a couple of molotovs that don't like go like too crazy with them but if you do see a couple of them just they're right there and then again okay here's another thing he's gonna tell you that the half tracks are coming in so you should actually be looking to your left because that's where he is coming from so again these enemies are kind of not the main priority but the half track right there take him down again uh right here i missed so it's kind of you know showing you proof that i'm not the best sniper just adds up on that um again just wait for the order just pick up pick off anything you can uh i'm not really sure how much it helps and then again here they're pushing so use a molotov every, every time he tells you to use a molotov he means like right there and then this is the part to your left right there uh, this is where a couple of the guys with the Panzerks are gonna come in uh, you want to make sure you take them down I'm pretty sure I missed that guy that that was running right now because uh, there is someone that's shooting us just in a little bit and I was like okay where's he coming from but I'm pretty sure he's the one that I missed so just uh, make sure you snipe him down don't approach uh, too close like that what I'm doing uh, again I'm just being a moron but uh aim for the uh panzer and then that should really be it uh pick up as many molotovs that you want at this point we should be good and then uh, this is where the cutscene just happens by itself okay so don't get freaked out uh i know i did the first time when i played uh on my first playthrough i was like hey wait what did i do i thought i destroyed all the panzerks but no this is just a cutscene so you are good don't worry about it and then at this point uh you are gonna fall down so we are going to go down from this point and a uh, half track is going to actually come in this time. So what you want to do is there is a Panzerk right there. You want to crawl to it and uh, basically we're just going to shoot it and then that's going to be it for this mission. So I know I keep on forgetting about this but uh, give me some feedback okay? If, if there's something that you don't like or something that I should improve on. Uh, Anything is welcome, and if you enjoyed the video and you thought it was helpful, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe if you uh, enjoyed this video, and like always, we'll be back for the next episode. Goodbye.